In this video, I will discuss the materials for building trusses for a gambrel style roof. The trusses consist of the upper and lower rafters. The peak angle is typically cut to about 20 degrees, and the lower side angles are cut to generally 22.5 degrees. The trusses also consist of the peak gusset and the left and right side gussets. If desired, you can use a cross tie, which makes the roof stronger and can double as a ceiling joist. Since I hate to waste material, I designed my trusses to use 2x4 lumber and to end up with the least amount of waste possible. For example, I cut the upper rafters at 58 inches, and when cut from a 10 foot 2x4, I'm left with just 4 inches of waste. However, later on I'll show you how to use the 4 inch pieces to build a truss assembly template. My lower rafters are cut at 47 inches and when cut from an 8 foot 2 by 4 that leaves very very little waste. The peak gusset is 24 inches wide and 12 inches tall. The side gussets are 24 inches wide but they're only about 8 inches tall. Note that the angles for the side gussets are cut cut to match the angles of the upper and lower rafters. Now let's look at how to lay out the gussets on a sheet of plywood. The gussets should be cut from plywood no thinner than 5 eighths of an inch. 3 quarters of an inch is better. There are basically two patterns you can use. For a 12 foot by 12 foot shed you'll need 11 trusses which comes out to 33 gussets. While this pattern provides only 18 gussets, it is an easy pattern to cut because all of the cuts are in a straight line. Cut between the edge gussets first, and then cut between the peak gussets. Here is another way to lay out the gussets. While this pattern provides 22 gussets, notice how there are only two straight cuts. Cutting all the angles will take time, and when you're through, you'll still need to cut into a second sheet of plywood. It is my recommendation that you go with pattern number one. One final note about the gussets. Some people try to save a few bucks by making the gussets from thinner plywood and or by making them all small enough so that 33 gussets can be cut from one sheet of plywood. I highly discourage you from doing that. The gussets will end up being too small to provide any real structural strength, and such, such strength is critical, especially in areas prone to snow and high winds. Now that we know what materials are needed and how to lay out the gusset pattern, let's briefly cover some basic assembly instructions. I wanted a fairly high roof to allow for more storage, and because I cut the upper and lower trusses to specific lengths, 58 inches and 47 inches, when assembled, my trusses span exactly 12 feet. If you are planning on building a gambrel style roof, the length of the rafters and angle of the cuts will determine the width and the height of your roof. In my case, I have just a little under 6 feet of storage above my wall line. I am glad I do because I use every single inch of that storage. When assembling a truss, coat the back side of the gussets with wood glue where it will contact the 2x4. Then use inch and a half structural screws to fasten the gussets to the 2x4s using a pattern like you see here. You want at least 8 screws per side or 16 total per gusset. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to quickly assemble the trusses by laying out a template on the shed floor. 